Finally, the Arvis Lighter is available in plastic to transport armies of solar auxilia infantry. Now, how did these actually translate into plastic? Well, join me today as we build up and paint this box of Arvis Lighters to find out. So as I mentioned earlier, this box comes with a total of eight transports, each having a carrying capacity of two bases worth of infantry. All up, that's quite a lot of infantry. So let's have a look inside the box. Now, as is standard fare for Legion's Imperialis kits, we have two identical sprues in the box, each sprue having four Arvis lighters. Inside, we also have a set of vehicle transfers. We have a lot of plastic stands and we've also got lots of these large aircraft bases. Now, I think that these aircraft bases are pretty much the same size and design as you'd find on a lightning fighter or like a Marada bomber. Now, and this is something I found to be the case for most solar auxilia kits. They tend to contain quite a lot of miniatures uh, within the kit. In this case, eight Arvis lighters is, is quite a lot given that I think size-wise they look pretty comparable to say a Spartan tank. Now let's take a close look at this sprue. So as you can see, we've got four Arvis lighters on the sprue and the design looks pretty simple. We've got a top, two sides and a bottom as well as some various details to attach onto them. Now. I think they look pretty simple to assemble, so hopefully it should be nice and quick. But I do think that they're gonna look pretty good all, all assembled. Alrighty, so let's assemble these up, prime them and start painting them. Well, those went together very quickly and for the most part, they are pretty easy to assemble. The body really is just those four main components along with some decorations. There were a couple of slightly tricky bits though. The landing legs were rather fiddly to attach. They just didn't sit all that well and tended to wobble about a bit. Also, I went and clipped out all the parts for four and realized after doing that, that the two engines on the back are actually not the same. They're two separate parts, depending on the side. And so I had to go and figure out which one's attached to which side of the Mini. Now let's compare them to a Lightning Fighter. As you can see, they're just a little bit smaller, both in terms of the length and the wingspan. But for the most part, they're actually quite a chunky model. Okay, let's take this over to my airbrushing station and we're gonna get started painting them up. We start with priming through the airbrush using Mecha Grey Primer from Vallejo. And then we'll lay down a base coat using some Army Painter airbrush paints. We're gonna start by painting the underneath of the miniature using Iron Wolf, which is the base color from the blue-gray colors. Afterwards, we paint from the top down. And now I find the corresponding mid-tone to be a little bit too saturated for my Solar Auxilia's infantry. So we're going to use a one-to-one -one mix of Wolf Grey and Raven Black, which helps just to desaturate that color a little bit. Now that we have the base coat layer down, we're going to do some panel highlighting. And for this, we're using a one-to-one -one mix of dark blue tone and wash medium from the Army Painter. Now we're using the wash medium to reduce how strong the panel lining is just that little bit. This was actually my first time using an army painter wash as I've recently gone and purchased some of the new War Paints Fanatic paints. I was actually pretty impressed with how easy it was to do panel lining with it as it had a really good capillary action. As you should be able to see in the video, the paint would spread along the panel lines with just a small dab of the wash in the uh, various corners. We then move on to painting a green accent to tie this mini in to the rest of my Sons of Horus army. For this, we're using Pharaoh Guard from the Teal's Flexible Green Triad. 
and we're going to follow up with an edge highlight using Talisman Teal from the same triad. After this, we move on to some edge highlighting for the rest of the miniature. Now, as with the air paints, I found that the desaturated blues were just that little bit too saturated. So here I've opted for edge highlighting with a mix of one-to-one uh, -one wolf gray and uniform gray. We're now gonna move on to painting up the metallic areas of the Arvis lighter. So we start with painting up the intake and the exhaust of the engine using true copper, as well as catching some details on the side of the craft. One thing to keep in mind here is that the army paint and metallics need a lot of water to be thinned down or otherwise you're gonna get an uneven coat. So make sure you're thinning down the metal paints sufficiently. Then we're gonna follow up with using some gun metal on the rear casing, the engine itself, as well as details on the body, like the sensor dish that we've attached onto this one. We're then gonna use dark tone over all of the metallic areas. After this, we paint up the lights using demonic yellow from the yellow's flexible triad. And then we paint some lenses on the underside of the aircraft using pure red from the cool reds flexible triad. The final detail on these Arvis lighters is the glass on the cockpit. We start with frost blue from the desaturated blues flexible triad in the upper right corner and then step down to runic cobalt in the opposing corner, blending a little between the edges of these colors to get a nice smooth transition. We then add a small reflection in the corner using matte white. Now, all that's left is to paint up the base. And so for this, we're gonna be using uh, leather from the Browns Triad as our base coat. We're then gonna follow up doing some panel lining using Strong Tone. And so once again, we're gonna be making use of the capillary action of this wash to our advantage and doing a panel line rather than coating the whole base in uh, the Strong Tone. We then follow up with a really fine highlight using Paratrooper Tan from the Browns Triad. For the fan construct in the center of the base, we use gunmetal followed by washing it with dark tone. And done. Eight new Arvis lighters ready to join my existing Solar Auxilia cohort. These were great fun to assemble and to paint. And in my opinion, the plastic sculpt looks fantastic. It was really interesting to take some of the Warpaint Fanatic paints for a spin when painting these up. I quite liked the paints, particularly panel lining with the washes and the tones was an absolute blast. It was almost like using an oil paint. That said, the metallics, they weren't really as good as the Two Thin Coats metallics, but maybe they'll grow on me with a bit more usage. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you in my next video.